Morning. Hey. Oh, Hana. Oh, Hana. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going through a little day in the life of our life in quarantine. I haven't done a vlog in a while, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity and people are asking me what I'm doing during quarantine to stay sane and creative and all that. So we thought, why not show you? So we'll walk you through our day. We have some really fun things planned. I may or may not be cutting Nicholas's hair. We'll see how that goes, but it should be a really fun day. So let's dive in. So the first thing that we do to start our day every single day is coffee. So this is our beloved Nespresso machine and that's what we're gonna be using to make our coffee just like we use every other day. So today I am going to be using the double espresso Skiro and then we let magic do its work. call me a psychopath for it, but I actually really love to add water to my coffee. Um, I'm not ashamed of it either. A metal straw, stir her up, and... <sighs> People ask me all the time what my coffee is and how it's made and all that, and it's literally just almond milk ice and an espresso. Like, I don't even think you're supposed to brew it over ice, but I just do it because I'm lazy and it has now become this phenomenon for people. What do you think? I just like hot coffee, I don't really do that. Yeah, Nick tried iced coffee for the first time like three weeks ago. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's so weird, but whatever. Here, I'll, I'll try it. Ah, uh, life changing. <laughs> I was never really much of a breakfast person until quarantine started and we were forced to cook all of our meals. And Nick eats like six times a day. And so, hey! <laughs> so he has involuntarily got me hooked onto breakfast like right when you wake up. And so I have an early breakfast and then I have a late breakfast now. <laughs> early breakfast always consists of basically eggs, but I bought this amazing, amazing egg maker off of Amazon. Isn't it life changing? Yes, it is. It's like no mess, it's cute, it's perfect. It's so amazing. Also, it looks like a little robot. It looks like a little spaceship. Um, I am obsessed with poached eggs, like so obsessed, but who has time to actually poach eggs? Because the whole like vinegar swirling thing, is just, that's not, it's not my gig. Wait, Love. you put vinegar in it? Yeah, that's what keeps it like together. Oh shit. But I absolutely love poached eggs. They are my favorite way to have an egg. And so this does it in six minutes and all I have to do is just let it sit and it does a little ding and that's it. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so these are all the pieces of it and basically we plug it in, obviously. <laughs> then we put this little tray on top that you can also make hard boiled eggs with. Then we take our little cup, we fill it up to that little omelet poached line right there. Dump it on it. Then we take our little poaching tray and we oil her on up. Two eggs. Just like that. Then you Put it on top of the tray. Oh, we, we take out that shell. And then you put the little top on and you press this button and voila. And then in like five or six minutes, it will have this fun little jingle and then your eggs are done. We love magic. And I love to eat it. We also are very lazy in terms of how we make our toast to go on it. So we still are using our handy dandy oven to make our toast because we have not got a toaster yet. <laughs> We literally take a cooling rack on top of a cookie sheet and we take our bread on top and that is how we make our toast. And into the oven at 385 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately like five minutes or until it's crusty. Okay, so this is what it ends up looking like and you just kind of like spoon around it with your fork or whatever and just kind of like dump them out, out onto your bread. Steamy. It's literally so easy and it takes five minutes. And bon appetit, this is our breakfast. <laughs> Yours mine. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this egg making machine is amazing. We are 
fully obsessed and it costs like what 20 bucks or something like that yeah. is that amazon it was on amazon i'll link it in the description for you guys All right, so I think it's time that we cut Nicholas's hair off of his head. I don't think it's been this long in so long. Yeah, it's crazy looking. I look like I got electrocuted. It's got a little buzzer. Wait, I need to tell you what I kind of want. I just want like it really short on the sides and then you leave it kind of longish in the front. Okay, cool. Let's dive in. How long has it been, you think, since you've had a haircut? Oh my gosh. Um, probably like five months. <laughs> We've been in quarantine <laughs> for like barely three, so. I know. I was <laughs> I was bad about getting haircuts before, so like here we are. But thankfully I cut it really short beforehand. Whoa. You're looking pretty good. It's so crazy. Yeah. Alright, so we got the cut finish. What do you think? I love it. Now we're gonna go in with the overtone pastel um, silver and we're gonna turn all of this kind of yellow that we messed up um, <laughs> silver. This is what it looks like. You're supposed to wear gloves, but um, we're going through a pandemic and you can't find gloves. So we're just gonna use our hands and then wash them. All right, so now Nick is all covered in the overtone dye conditioner or whatever it is. And we just wait. Are you excited to have a haircut? Yeah. I was looking awful. I feel like my hair was like fusing into my ears. <laughs> I know you were having a little bowl cut, you know, man. All right, so this is the final result that we have. It I looks know. so good. I'm obsessed with it. It's like exactly what I wanted. I like that this has like a little bit of a gradient. We didn't get all the orange out, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, whatever. You can barely see it, right? I feel like I look a lot less our color palette. I have been. <laughs> Are we becoming just a, a like black, white, and gray scale aesthetic family? I know, right? Should we dye her hair? No. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get ready for the day and pick out some outfits. So for my outfit, I wanted to do something a little bit edgy and a little bit like downtown cool boy. So I picked these Uniqlo khaki trousers to kind of give a little more of an edge to the outfit. I also picked this printed shirt from Paul Smith that I absolutely love. I thought it helped give that kind of like edginess vibe. Then I paired it with my absolute beloved white Vans Authentic that you guys know I love so much. And I got a little carried away and I added on one of the new JW Anderson cat bags. So for my look, I wanted to choose something really fun. So I chose these acid wash jeans from ASOS. I love the vintage vibe they give off. I also chose this pastel top from Levi's and I think it really paired well with them. And to finish off the look, I chose my all time favorite sneaker, the high top Converse. And these are our looks. So someone asked me a question the other day that really kind of like shook me. I was doing one of those like question box things on Instagram and someone asked me how to get out of a creative rut. I feel like we all go through ruts of some sort in our life, whether they're creative or not. And so first of all, a creative rut is kind of like a standstill in your creative ways of thinking. You don't really like some of the things you're thinking of or you don't feel like they're as creative as they should be or whatever. And this part's really important to understand to get over a creative rut. I used to let them completely take over my life and it would drown myself in anxiety and stress. Maybe I, I questioned my talent so many times, but it's actually a very good thing at the end of the day. What I've come to realize is that a creative rut is actually you furthering your creative thinking and your creative process. And the reason you're feeling so stuck is because you're not actually quite at the comfortability of the level of executing these creative ideas. And so your mind and body and existence is just kind of like catching up to you taking the next step in your creative ability. You're looking for something further and you're looking for something bigger. So the best thing to do during a creative rut is to kind of just let it take its course. Let it play out and let your mind and your creativity just see things and think about things and just let it do its thing until it kind of connects all the dots. What I like to do and my absolute favorite thing for doing during a creative rut is mood boarding. I like to go online and just collect a ton of photos that either jog my interest or maybe it's a concept or anything just something that gets you thinking and something that intrigues your mind so like this one i really loved the concepts and it's just one of my favorites i collect them all and then i arrange them into mood boards depending on maybe poses or colors 
or even concepts or moods. And then the biggest tip of advice is print them out, get them printed on something that you can touch and you can see and just have them sitting out for a few days. Having your mind look at that constant inspiration is going to just jog your creativity into the next element. It's probably the biggest piece of advice for creatives out there. So Pinterest boards and things like that are great, but get something that is physical and that you constantly see with your eyes. And that's really what I do to get out of a creative rut. I think it's such an important thing that people understand and you don't question yourself or your creativity or your talent during those times and you really just let yourself process. Okay, now back to the vlog. Okay, sit, sit, good kitty. Okay, so we just got a knock at the door and it was a package that I've been waiting for for a while. I got a brand new pair of the Jacques Mousse sunglasses and you guys know how much I love Jacques Mousse and I thought what better way to show them than to unbox them here right now with you guys. All right, so let's do this. First you get this beautiful little like Hello, ish like hi, <laughs> sunglass case. Oh my god, I love that. Wait, that's so nice. Little pillow. And then, ba ba ba. Here they are. Oh my god, I wanted them for so long. I, I'm so happy. The fact that they match my shirt right now. You like them? Wow, I can't believe it matches your shirt. I know. Like what the hell? <laughs> Do you like them? Do you want to wear them? So Jacques Mousse's inspiration behind these was those old 3D glasses that you would get when you would go to the movie theaters. And I don't know why, but I think the nostalgia just hit me super hard. And I just feel so in love with that inspiration and that concept. And I just, I knew that I had to get these. And I knew that these would be a pair of glasses that I would like treasure forever. Do you like them? Huh? But I love every detail of it. You can see his little name there. It probably won't focus, but. I just think he's an amazing inspiration and I think that it really shows in his work and I am just so happy to be the owner of these. Do you wanna try them on? Sure. Oh my God, they're so cool. Aren't they? Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> do I look cool? You do look cool. I feel like you look cooler than me and them. That's not fair. Does it look cool with my hair? It does. Oh my God, you know who I feel like I'm serving? Uh, Jackie Cox kind of vibes with the glasses. I'm down with that. Do you like them? All right, so one of our all-time favorite ways to end our days is going on a nice long bike ride through the city in downtown. Also, we have matching bikes. How cute. How cute. Our bikes are from Linus, and they're this cute little like French-style bike we are so obsessed with. They're so fun to just like ride around and cruise around, and I have my trusty little film camera to take some photos <laughs> for some memories along the way. It's our absolute favorite way to end the day, especially during all these crazy times. It helps us clear our head when we just go blocks and blocks and miles at a time and just kind of see the city and just kind of like let our head clear and wind down for the day. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we just got back. We picked up some sweet green for dinner on the way home. And now we're just going to kind of enjoy the rest of our night out on our patio or balcony or whatever you want to call it. And we're just gonna have ourselves a nice little moment out here and enjoy the rest of the day. What'd you get? I got the hot honey chicken. Yum. New menu item. I got a tofu steak, yum. Oh shit. Did you have a fun day? Yeah. It was cute, you. right? Mm-hmm. I love biking. I'm excited about my Jacques Mousse sunglasses, too. I'm also excited about my new haircut. I know. It's looking so silver now. I know. It's kind of crazy. All right, guys. Well, we're going to enjoy the rest of our night, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.